Hello, this is Angela with Parkrose Permaculture. It's a really busy gardening weekend here in Portland, Oregon. I have been out in the garden all day today trying to get caught up because we've had really heavy rains lately. And I noticed while I was out here taking care of some chores that my hardy kiwi is beginning to set fruit. So I thought I would give you all an update. So I grow Dumbarton Oaks hardy kiwis and oh, as I'm speaking, the rain is coming back. So let's let's film quickly here. They are my favorite variety. I also have a Ken's Red in another part of the garden. Hardy Kiwis are Actinidia columicta and Actinidia arguta. They are related to the fuzzy kiwi, but they are small, often called a kiwi berry, have a smooth skin and you can eat them whole. They're larger than a grape, so maybe like two bites to each one really, really good. I much prefer them to the fuzzy kiwi. I think they're sweeter and the flavor is more complex and they are much easier to grow. Hardy kiwi. They are hardier than the fuzzy kiwi and can withstand a much colder winter. Like other kiwis, the hardy kiwi is a vigorous vine. It requires pruning three times a year and you do need a male and a female to get fruit, except there are two varieties that are self-fertile. They still set better fruit with a male though, just so you know. So I have a male way over here on the side of the woodshed, over here, and then my female is right behind me. I did a video about how to winter prune your kiwis and soon I'm going to be doing summer pruning. So you can see all of this growth, all of this growth is since my last prune. They can grow sometimes a foot a day in really warm, sunny weather. And so you need to stay on top of it. Not only do you need to prune, in the summer in order to keep the vine contained or it will take over, but also because the fruit will ripen better if you let light in. If your maturing fruit are too shaded, they will not mature properly, especially the red varieties. So we wanna make sure that we prune to open up the vine and let the sunshine in. But right now, my kiwis are beginning to set the little tiny fruit. And so I wanna give you a view as to what they look like this time of year. The fruit will not be ripe until the fall, but that's totally fine by me. They are a wonderful, wonderful treat and something that are really difficult to get in the grocery store here in North America. But if you want to give them the care that they require to keep them contained and productive, you can get a huge crop of them at home. And you can have one male hardy kiwi to several varieties of female, one male up to six ma female vines to go with it. So while you do need to take up space in your garden growing a male, you could potentially grow six different varieties of female hardy kiwis in your garden for every one male plant. Let me flip the camera around here real quick and show you a little bit closer look at the female plant and the baby fruits she has set. Okay, let's look at my actinidia here. You can see I did a little prune recently because it was in the way, oh, once again, y'all, oh, I've been gardening, sorry. So you can see here, long, vigorous growth. All of this will need to be pruned. But when I tell you that it grows really, really fast, I'm not joking. Here are the female flowers. You can see the, the flower here. Smaller versions of the fuzzy kiwi flower. We have, have had heavy rain, and so a lot of the petals have been knocked off. But that's what the female flower looks like. So she's really got lovely flowers, and they have a lovely fragrance to them. They are fragrant, and you can see here the baby fruit has been set. Flower, baby fruits. So these will continue to ripen. You can see my pruning in the winter was done to get a really heavy fruit set. Look at all of this. So in order to encourage these to ripen, I'm gonna need to make sure I come in and prune off all of these big vines that grow up over the top and shade my baby fruit and make it hard for it to mature. But that's a really exciting start to my year as far as kiwis go. I don't wanna count my chickens before they're hatched, but boy, looks like we're gonna be doing pretty well with our kiwi harvest, if all of these can get to maturity without the squirrels eating them. I do have to say squirrels really like hardy kiwis and they will come and eat them about 24 hours before you decide that they are perfectly ready to be picked. Really, really excited. 
Again, I'm gonna wanna come in, prune off all of these that are going to be shading my vine too much, focus on getting that fruit to mature and protecting it from wildlife that might also like to snack on it. So with that work in mind, I'm hoping to have a good harvest later this year. So thanks for watching today. If you are interested in growing hardy kiwis in your home garden, I suggest you look at my video on winter pruning them. And you do understand that you are committing to a large vine that can weigh 100 pounds and also have 100 pounds of fruit on it at maturity. So you'll need a strong structure and you will need to have a pretty intense relationship as far as garden plants go. Three times a year I need to prune this. I need to make sure that I've provided it good support and that it doesn't get away from me. Perhaps you want to grow this plant in your food forest where you use a large canopy tree as a trellis, but be aware when you are growing your hardy kiwis that if you want to let it ramble and grow as large as it would like to, that often means the fruit is difficult to harvest. So think about all those things if you want to grow hardy kiwi in your garden, but Boy oh boy, for me, it's such a great crop. I feel that it's so delicious, it's unusual, it is disease resistant, sets large crops, very nutritious, and it's something that helps increase the diversity in my diet and the diversity in my garden. And so for that reason, I would highly recommend you grow hardy kiwis if you feel that it is the right plant for your garden. So please check out my Patreon down below. Please click like and subscribe and share with your friends. That is something you could do to help me and my family and help me keep producing more videos for all of y'all. Thanks.